Hi guys. <laughs> you might be wondering where I am right now. Actually, I'm in my recording room. Of course, I don't have a recording room in my house. So I hide into my own dressing room and then I bring a blanket and then make it into a, oh gosh, I made it into a very cheap uh, zero dollars recording room. Hey. So, anyway, um, I've totally forgot to record a opening when I was in that restaurant. So I'm gonna do it right now. So we went to a very special restaurant that is both, I think, well known and unknown because most of my friends in Japan, they actually don't know about this type of cuisine and this restaurant. So it's also very mysterious in a sense that anyway, in that restaurant, the cuisine is pond loach. Do you guys know what that is? I'll put a picture here. So it's a fish and they also call it dojo loach so pawn loach or dojo loach anyway i have no idea we could eat this kind of fish before so anyway let's get right into the video wow i'm already in love with this traditional japanese interior design it just felt so rich in culture and i also love how the staff there is dressed up in traditional clothes and we have our first dish, which is a tofu with miso. And here we are. We have our pond loach. Oh, it looks actually kind of scary with so many loach. And this is also loach, but they cut it open. So we have to sit like this. Okay, I'm so nervous, but I'm gonna try my first bite of pound loach so hot wow mm. it, it doesn't really have a strong taste actually look at it I'm gonna eat it with onions wow it, it actually tastes pretty good hmm surprising ah uh, but I feel like it still tastes a bit fishy. So maybe that's why they put alcohol in it because I all I could also taste alcohol flavor in the pound loach. I'm gonna try my second one. It actually tastes pretty good and taste mm, Wow. Hmm, it actually tastes pretty nice. It tastes very healthy because it doesn't have like a strong taste and you know it's just like went into your mouth very smoothly and you just feel light and healthy and it's like it has its original flavor which is really cool and look at this they even put pound loach with eggs which is also really good i love eggs combination with to tojo dojo loach and um, also with onions onions helps a lot otherwise I felt like it's a bit a bit too fishy and also with rice and also with miso soup but these miso soup ah they also put yeah pound loach in it mm, I think I'm gradually becoming someone that like to eat loach it tastes good but the miso soup itself, ugh, it's way too salty. I feel like they put the whole can of miso in just one ball of miso soup. It's way too salty. I have to eat a lot of rice and a lot of cucumbers and veggies in order to balance the taste. Hmm, but overall, I love the loach so much. Tastes really special. I've never eaten anything like that before. Very, very nice. Mmm. 
I like it. I want to eat more、uh, loach, but actually, they didn't serve that much of loach to us. And surprisingly,、uh, we looked up Wikipedia, and loach is、uh, trad- traditionally a pretty cheap dish. But in this restaurant, it's so expensive. Like for around fifteen loaches, it costs you around like three thousand yen. I remember, which is yeah, I considered it very expensive. So, but I, I really like it. It just tastes really healthy, and I love foods that has this really like beautiful original taste. I like it. Hmm, satisfied. Look at this surroundings. It has a very nice atmosphere. Hi. So the second hidden restaurant that I want to share with you guys is a restaurant that served kamameshi. And kamameshi in Japanese literally translate to kiddo rice. So it's a traditional Japanese、uh, rice dish. Cooked in an iron pot called a kama. That's why it's called kama meshi. Kama is the kiddo, and meshi is the rice. So let's go and check out the restaurant. Oh, one thing about the reason why this、uh, kama meshi restaurant is considered special is because they actually serve the kama meshi with. Premium Japanese beef wagyu, and it's like A five, and A five is literally the highest quality of Japanese beef. So let's get right into the session. Oh, here we come! Wow, all the chefs there look so professional. Ah, look at this, my A five wagyu. Wow, look at this. Beef. Why is it so pretty? Oh, it's everything like the place, the color, and everything. Why is it so perfect? Japanese, they are so good. Oh gosh, they are so good at this. The design, the foods, and everything. So I'm gonna first cut it half, and then to cook half of them first.、Hmm, that's、uh, how they asked me to do that. So look at this. Is Not yet cooked. It's still very raw, and I'm gonna first make it into a one bite size, and like this, and then wait for the fire to cook my premium Japanese beef. And look at this rice. Oh, rice in Japan are also so great in quality, like mind blowing. Ah, I, I I I love that. This this is so pretty. And are you kidding me? Okay, the, I I I'm so hungry. And the thing about here is that it's very very like thin, eh? And like you first have to use this like metal chopsticks to, um,、uh, how do you say to to touch your raw meat and to you know just like to. Cook it to fry it and things like that. And this chopsticks is only used in raw meat. You cannot eat use that to eat the cooked meat. And then you have to use this like wooden chopsticks instead to eat your rice. It's your like、um, cooked things like meat, beef, and then also the veggies and the soup and so on. So. Now, finally, one piece of it is cooked. I'm gonna try it right now.、Uh, the rice, the quality of the rice is so good, and the meat is so good as well. Mind blowing! And also, this sauce is extremely delicious. I have no idea what that is, but. Ah,、uh, meat again, meat, meat, my beef. Ah,、uh, so oh, now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. Ah,、uh, I'm doing my over voice here, and now I want to fly back to Japan and eat this again. Ah,、uh, I'm like it, it, literally 
way too delicious. I started to shake. Oh, look at these meat. Oh, and then I finished with a very delicious, like, matcha pudding. Oh, we are all so full, and it's nice to take a walk in Nakamegudo and check out the Starbucks, the Starbucks Reserve Roastery. Wow, 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 wow! Look at this architecture, this interior design. It's just like uh, the chocolate factory in the old movie. Oh, wow! Nostalgic. Am I pronouncing that word correct? Anyway, wow! Look at this. Breads, croissant, and just everything. And wow, they have this like huge machine, like a coffee beans making machine, and all this like pipes. And wow, wow, everything's here looks oh my, like looks so oishi, like delicious. Wow, even the wall has this like amazing design with all these like cups. Starbucks Reserve. Wow. Wow, I finally get into Starbucks here in Nakamegudo. Wow, full of people. So many tourists. Wow. The architecture is like the design is crazy. Oh, the terrace looks really nice, but no one's here. Tokyo, Tokyo. Mecha ii tokodo desu. A nice place. Wow, look at this decorations with like sakura. <laughs> and I even saw. Someone's like dancing there. I think it's a dance studio, and just beside the building, it's like. So I'm in the outside area, like terrace area. So I think in the summer it's gonna be so occupied because it's gonna be such a nice place for you know just like enjoy the sunshine and so on, so on. But today is so cold. It's like around three degrees Celsius. So like no one is sitting outside, so it's like empty, empty. Like when you come during weekdays, you don't have to wait in line. But if you come during weekends, then you have to wait in line. And usually the line is gonna be like long. Like the last time we came here, uh, around like in the afternoon, and like the wait is uh, it was about like two to three hours. So it's like very long wait. But now it's much better. Wow, look at all these things. Everything looks so expensive here. Uh, and it's true that the coffees and the breads and sandwiches are all pretty costly in this Starbucks. Wow, like the bread, the round one looks uh, so fake, but I've asked them, it's, it's a real one. So this, we decided to buy some breads and take it back home. Great! Guess what? I also didn't film my clothing, so I'm doing it right now in Taiwan in my stupid recording room. Anyway, uh, we had a great time there and the foods were just so amazing actually. Didn't eat that much of fancy foods when I was in Japan because it's very expensive. And then, you know, I don't really like to eat that much of foods. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Anyway, these two restaurants are on top of my list. It's like, oh, c'est trop, trop bien. C'est just like, oh, great, great, great. So I definitely recommend it to you. And hi, au susume shimasu. Anyway, thanks for watching my video today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I just love this kind of traditional architecture and interior design. So first, we have this tofu with 